Hey guys, it's Salvador with DetailersGrowth.com and in this video, I'm going to walk you through creating your first Facebook ad. By the end of this video, you will know what objective, budget, and audience targeting I'd recommend to begin running ads on Facebook. So here's what your screen is going to look like if you're running Facebook ads for the first time. You'll see that it's blank down here and if you ran ads in the past, you'll see those previous campaigns down here. So up here from left to right, we have campaigns, ad sets, and ads. And I'm gonna go into more detail, but first let's go ahead and click create. And here Facebook is gonna ask us for our campaign objective. For this campaign, we're gonna go ahead and just stick to messages. Um, and then it's gonna ask us to, to name it. Let's go ahead and name it interior detail ads. So for now, let's go ahead and just name the campaign interior detail ads with the objective messages. Continue. And then here you'll see that we're in the campaign level. And then I'm just going to go ahead and type that in. So in the campaign level, you can choose your objective. You can change it here if you want to again. Um, and you can set your budget. I would recommend turning on campaign budget optimization. Um, I'd recommend $15 as a good starting point, and I'd say that $10 would be the absolute lowest I'd recommend as a daily budget. So we'll keep it $15, and let's go ahead and click Next. So now that we're in the ad set level, this is where we get to decide who we want to deliver our ads to. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Um, we'll keep this as just Messenger. Um, this is a Facebook page we want to use. Uh, we don't have to worry about um, scheduling this. Okay, so here we are in the audience section. And let's go ahead and start by choosing the locations that we want to target. I'm going to go ahead and enter where I live right now, Bellingham, Washington. Okay, and you'll notice that it automatically added a 25 mile radius to this. Uh, Bellingham is a really small town, so let's go ahead and make that shorter. We can also run this in just the current city only, and you'll notice that it dropped down to 90k. So your audience size is going to change depending on where you live. Um, I'd recommend an audience size of at least 100k, so we're going to go ahead and change this to cities within radius. And then we're just going to bring this down to 10 miles. Now we're over 100k, and I like the size of that. Okay, so scrolling down, we're going to leave age and gender the same, and we're going to come down here to where it says detail targeting. And this is where things get interesting at the ad set level. So here we can go ahead and target people based on demographics, interests, or behaviors. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in one of my favorite, auto detailing. And you're going to want to make sure to click on the interests and not the employers or job titles. Okay, so now that we have auto detailing in there, um, we can go ahead and click on suggestions. And Facebook is going to give us some suggestions. So we want to go ahead and click on car care. Let's see. So right now I'm looking for interests that are related to the ad that we're running. So interior detail um, is the ad that we're running. And I want to look for interests that are related to that. So I'm going to click on vehicles. I'm going to click on SUVs. And I'm going to type in minivans. OK, I'm going to click on minivans. Uh, let's do trucks. Okay, click on suggestions one more time. I'm gonna click on family car. You get the idea. You basically wanna target, like I said earlier, you wanna target interests that are related to the ad that we're running. We're gonna leave detail targeting expansion on. And placements, we're just gonna have them be automatic. And then we can go ahead and move to the fun part, which is creating the ad. Okay, so here we are in the ad level, and the ad level is 
basically what the ad itself is going to look like. So to keep things really simple, let's go ahead and add an image. And I'm going to use this before and after I found on Google. And you can obviously want to use your own photos. Click done. And there we can see a little preview of it. Um, just to keep things really simple, I'm going to go ahead and enter in get a clean car inside and out message us today for your quote. for your free quote okay so that looks good let's go ahead and give this a title um free quote today free quote and then we can see our preview right here we're going to go ahead and leave the description blank the call to action is going to be send message and then Facebook also has message templates. And let me go ahead and show you this. So we're going to go ahead and create a new one. And this right here is what the potential customer is going to see on their end, right? So they're going to have frequently asked questions that they can go ahead and click on and send us. And one of my favorite things to do is to go ahead and just do one or two. First one's gonna say, how can I get a quote? Um, let's go ahead and add another one. What other services do you And then let's do a third one. Um, let's have it say, can I see your pricing? Okay, so you can see those three questions are here for the customer to ask us. And we'll go ahead and just save and finish. And expand. And here is our ad. I just wanted to keep it simple for this video. Um, in future videos, I'm going to go ahead and dive into more detail on specific frameworks I like to use to write compelling ads that get people to take an action. But for this video, I wanted to go ahead and just show you how to navigate Ads Manager um, so you're more comfortable with it, know what settings. I'd recommend writing a very simple ad so that you can go ahead and just get some market feedback right away. So there we have it. Uh, thank you for watching. And in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and dive into more detail on those frameworks I like to use.